Hello, this is Dominique. Um, it came to my attention that apparently we don't all have the same uh, columns set up in our Engage tabs uh, here in Salesforce. Um, for some reason, I assumed that once I set it up, everybody would have the same view, and it turns out that this is not the case. Um, these are all uh, unvetted comments um, on our Facebook and Instagram pages, so I do apologize if um, anything shows up in here that, uh, anyway, you know, foul language and whatnot, but uh, you know, I don't really get to control that. So anyhow, this is what I'm looking at for me. Um, I have Department of Veterans Affairs Instagram um, and Department of Veterans Affairs Facebook, and then I have a um, combined one that's filtered. These are all filtered in special ways so that um, it only pops up the information that I want. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and remove these columns and re-add them so that you can see how I did it. So, yeah. There we go. And then hopefully you guys can set yours up the same way and then we can all be operating you know, with the same set of <laughs> uh, tweets and comments and whatnot. Or not tweets, but Facebook comments and whatnot. All right, so I'm going to add a column. I click on this and you know, so it pops up this over here. Social account, this one I'm gonna do for Instagram. So I select Instagram and click apply. Now one of the issues that we've been having is that anybody that tags Debt Vet Affairs um, will have their their stuff pop in to the uh, um, feed. And if I was considering responding to all these people, um, if that was my purpose in this tab right now, um, then I would want that. But that's not what I'm trying to do. So what you need to do is go into the settings and go to filter. And um, I believe it's media types. Yeah, go to media types. You don't want photos, videos, carousel, media mentions, comment mentions. All you do, all we were looking for is comments because um, the purpose is comment moderation. So we only really want comments. Um, so that's it. Apply. And voila. It should be every single one of these posts is a response to a post. Every single one of these comments is now a response to a post that we posted from our uh, account. You shouldn't have anybody else's stuff in there. Just, you know, grab random stuff. Yep, that was a veteran of the day. Anyway, you get the idea. So, next up, I'm going to add a column for social account, uh, Facebook. Apply. And, um, yeah, so the same issue can happen in here as well. Um, Sorry, it's uh, Robert Stalnick. <laughs> he likes to uh, comment on our posts. Um, so yeah, we will get all of our stuff, um, but we also get uh, other people's stuff too. So we got to click the gear icon um, to get into the settings and go to filter and media types. And I believe the only thing that we're looking for is Posts, uh, no, okay. I think I had it set up for comments and replies. So let's uh, apply that. And uh, that should have that one set up just right. Okay, um, sorry, Robert posts a lot of comments. But yeah, so there's that and um, then when I want to have a column that, um, actually something you might want to consider, um, we can't actually moderate anything on Twitter, but if you're, you know, if you want, you can set up uh, a feed for Twitter to, um, for the sake of just um, being able to monitor for potentially, say, um, keep an eye out for like uh, 
people threatening to hurt themselves or anything like that. Um, if you know, you might be able to find veteran who's talking about hurting him or herself uh, on Twitter and maybe report that to the Veterans Crisis Line. So, um, you know, it might not be a bad idea to include uh, Twitter in here. And then this is going to be the combined um, list. And so what I want to do in this one is select all of them. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and click apply. And while that's happening, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll sit here waiting. Okay, cool. So they're all selected, but I need to filter again. And what I'm filtering for is certain post labels, um, say spam. I don't know what happened to spam there. It got <laughs> lowercase letters and then a capital M. Uh, not spam. No, wait, I don't want not spam in there. I want spam. Um, P I I. Okay, well, somebody needs to create P I I <laughs> as a label because apparently it doesn't exist yet. Um, slurs, slur, foul language. Um, I think that's all for now. But uh, as we, I mean, there should be one for like suicide, but. Nope, nobody's created it yet. So um, we're going to have to create that one. Anyway, um, you get the idea. We need to filter it by these post labels. And this will be a combination of uh, across all um, social media channels. It looks like um, nothing has uh, shown up just yet. But... Um, Yeah, if somebody marks something as spam, see, uh, this this isn't really, I don't know that this is spam, but uh, let me go info and post label spam. Spam. All right. So if we do that, notice one new post, and it showed up. Bolivian, poppy, interesting, possibly, maybe an ace in the hole, backup plan. So now that shows up as spam. Now, clearly it's not spam, it's just somebody saying something. Um, and so I don't actually want to mark it as spam, but you get the idea. If you mark it as spam, it's going to show up in this column. It'll show up there for me too, because whoever puts that label on doesn't matter. It just matters that the label exists. And so I will see it there and then I can, um, address it from that point on. However, there's one other column that I want you all to create, and this will be social account. Um, one, two, three. So select them all, apply. And then go into the settings and go to filter and create a filter for not spam. Apply. And the reason that I want you guys to create this final column uh, is because sometimes you guys mark some things that don't really qualify as spam. Now, in this case, there was an individual who um, was upset about a story uh, that had to do with, um, with dogs, uh, being, I don't know, used for testing. I don't know. I deal with social media. I'm not like dealing with animals, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, this person was upset about it. Yeah. It's not really applicable to this post, but they're, they're allowed to talk, you know? Uh, I don't, I don't get to control what they are and aren't allowed to say as long as they're not, um, you know, verbally attacking another one of our followers or, you know, using racial slurs or uh, excessively foul language um, or outright spamming us uh, or trying to trick veterans into uh, purchasing products that aren't, you know, sanctioned by the VA. Not, I mean, we don't really have any products. We want nothing to do with that, basically. But um, so the point is, like, people are allowed to say stuff just because it's not applicable to a post doesn't mean that I should remove it. Um, so anyway, that's something that I would mark as not spam. And so, um, 
if I put the not spam comment in there, it's going to show up over here in this final column. Okay, and um, I want you guys to keep an eye on that so you can get a feel for the kinds of things that I don't feel actually qualifies for moderation. Um, I might add other tags or other labels to this column, and I'll, I'll have uh, Emily um, put the word out as to um, how to build out that, that column. Um, but I want you guys to keep an eye on it so that you learn from each other what does not qualify as spam. Because, like, you know, I can't just I can't just be erasing everybody's words. You know, <laughs> they actually, um, you know, it actually has to run afoul of our comments policy before I can remove it. So, anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, just go back and rewatch if you missed a step as to how to set this up. But this is how I'm doing it, and it seems to be working pretty well so far. All right, thanks.